if you repent for your sin and return to god his mercy will come upon you and his purpose has to be fulfilled live your life for his purpose the bible says after 12 months god gave daniel 12 months one day he went to the palace and said oh nebukadnasar you built it the voice heard from heaven cut down the tree the tree was cut his human mind is taken away the mind of the animal was given to him he was living in the bushes and the trees he was fighting with animals for 7 years his hair became like a feather and after the 7 years god gave him back the human mind he cried yes the world and all its glory belongs to god psalm 24 verse 1 you and i are not here to establish our kingdom or our legacy these are foolishness of satan to our to, to take away our mind from us our families are not ours once god has taken you away from the family god will take care of the family the more we remain faithful to him the more he will be faithful to the family when we move take god's money to our families to take away something of us to them our time and energy we bring curses and pain into their lives because god has not called us for that what god has given for god's ministry has to be used for god's ministry that cannot be taken away for maybe they are genuine but god because you are committed to him god will take care of them in his own unique way because life is not built or taken care by you and me god has brought each one of us including our dear and near ones and god will take care of them in his own unique way we are to be in his hands life is to be into the hands of god and allow god to fulfill his purpose in our lives no one is created for a joke as we read in second timothy chapter 2 verse 20 in the great house of god there are varieties of vessels some he made as a gold not because that is bigger than or greater than anything else no for a purpose he made it as a golden bowl some he made us with silver some with wood some with mud everything has a purpose you and i are a vessel of god in the world if the vessel is dirty he has to throw into the water throwing the water means you know snake also can enter into it until we are cleansed he is a holy god he will constantly constantly prune us clean us melt us mold us to be in his hands so you are and i are a vessel carrying something for the humanity up today why he did not create us 100 years ago why now because for present generation god wants to give himself and you and i carry him we are the vessels carrying something of god for our generation and being in the hands of god we experience life jesus teaches us that the mother in law of peter has come into the house of peter why the mother in law came into the house of peter we don't know what or maybe the reason 
she was bound in that house poor lady she has become sick and jesus is invited jesus saw her the bible says he touched her he touched her the word here says is the touch of the lord until the lord touches us we never get up unless the lord purifies us that vessel cannot be used by god or for god only after she was touched she was cleansed the sickness is casted away from her she could be able to get up first of all god will come into our lives and blessed is the man who recognizes that i can rise up only by my god the greatest tragedy of man is man tries to help himself man tries to think life is his he thinks he has to build his life he thinks the world will build up his life he thinks by learning this by writing the quotations or taking down some notes from different books i can give a wonderful sermon no you cannot only by god you have to sit at his feet you have to speak to him and he will speak to you and that we have to communicate to the lord until then we will be only tied up peter's mother in law was tied up jesus has to touch her teach jesus has to cleanse her and jesus has to raise her up it is that vessel began to serve god so do you want to serve him we have to spend time with him to tell him which are the areas of my life has to be touched which are the areas of my life has to be cleansed in which are the situations from which i have to rise up where i am tied up you cannot build up your life by yourself because you have not brought yourself to this earth god has brought you god has a plan for you god has a mission for you why are you here you are here because he has sent you you have to go to him talk to him why does he allow the things which you don't like maybe he is beating you somewhere he says i am the vine you are my branches if you don't bear fruit i will go on prune i will cut if something is happening to me god is not punishing me god is pruning me maybe i am not in his hands maybe i am not bearing his fruits so we have to be constantly in his hands that's why in today's first reading the book of hebrews chapter 2 verse 18 it is written because he himself was tested and went through all kinds of pain he is able to understand what is life he is able to understand what is what and he is able to correct us build us and lead us yes as long as we are in his hands he can correct us he can cleanse us he can lift us and he can use us for his glory if we are not in his hands only pruning pruning hitting cutting all that will go on you will be tied up in the cot god calls us your life is one son this earth i have sent you for my purpose your life is not about you your life is about god god has sent you for his purpose you are not created for your purpose that you have to decide your future your career your way of life no 
it is god who has to decide your life not you my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord